What is up everybody, Danny the Fireman here. I have something very interesting. We're gonna be doing a nice little review of the Indian Chief, okay? So this is the 2022. Now we're gonna be having some fun with this. Now what we're gonna be doing with this is trying to figure out who is this bike for? And if it's something that you should probably get yourself. I wanna say thank you real quick to Indian for letting me borrow this for, for quite a while so I can have some fun. So what I'm gonna be doing through this whole review process is taking it in town going up mount lemon going to bisbee going to i mean i'm going to be going all over the place maybe not bisbee but to tombstone or something but anyways have some fun and see if it's good in the parking lot see if it's good on long distance basically who is it for and that's what we're going to be doing all right so i guess let's go ahead and do a nice little walk around and it looks amazing i mean i'm i'm not going to spend too much time on specs what i want to do is is focus mainly on you know if we did a test ride like you know i don't know anything i went to indian motorcycles i'm doing a test ride i'm trying out all these different bikes i don't know all the specs yet i just want to see what feels good and that's kind of what i'm going to be doing i'm going to see what feels good seeing how everything works and then from there make a judgment call if it's something i want to buy myself and that's pretty much what we're going to be doing so what we're going to be doing is just treat it like it's a demo ride i'm um, using the solo seat and yeah we're gonna have some fun okay so what we're gonna do is pretty cool i got a key fob in my pocket so there's no key uh basically so there's the button it's basically your your key switch okay so here's the engine shut off we have cruise control look at how beautiful this looks Ooh -wee. anyways uh, we got some music controls we can navigate a few things i'm gonna go ahead and uh deny access to that uh this is my phone on its rock form mount we got the horn Pretty fun. Uh, high beams, low beams, all those different things. Hey, it's warning you. It's got a ride command system. It also has that rear deactivation. You see how it says sport mode? And here's the tachometer. You can kind of swipe up. It's a TFT display. It's actually really cool. I'm gonna try to get through a lot of this because I will talk more about it later. Uh, we've got range, fuel economy outside. It's pretty warm. Uh, the battery looks pretty cool. Uh, current ride time. I only got 0.1 miles on this. So this is literally, I had to ride here from, from my house. So it's not that far. But we also have a navigation system. It's, it's, it's obviously loading. I'll talk more about that later. And here is the speedometer. You got your RPMs, fuel gauge, what gear you're in. But then you also have settings. So we got standard sport and touring mode. So that's actually pretty cool. There's no rain mode. That's not that big of a deal. Right now I have it on night mode. Uh, you can change it in the settings. We'll talk once again more about that. But remember, let's pretend we're at an Indian demo event and everyone's getting ready. Oh, might as well. Yeah, let's do this. Let's go ahead and put the side stand back down. And remember, these are forward controls. You know, they're like uh, reduced reach forward controls, by the way. So I feel pretty good. Uh, remember, I am 5'6 uh, with a 30-inch inseam. I have stubby little T-Rex arms. It is a belt-driven. This is what it looks like right here. This is what it sounds like. All right. And these are, this is the stock stuff, okay? All right, so what we're going to do is head out that way. I'm going to meet up with some DDF and crew members, and we're going to go for a nice ride. And, yeah, let's go ahead and get going. Now, it's pretty responsive when it comes... Whoa, hey -oh. <laughs> Yeah, so I have to get used to the... Uh, the throttle control and, and the response, I gotta get used to the friction zone, used to the brakes. So that's one of those things that you gotta be paying attention to when you're out uh, first starting a ride. It's like, when you get to a demo event, what you wanna do, and I already did this prior, is uh, turn it on, get it in gear, just keep your feet on the ground, and let it out the clutch a little bit to the friction zone, see where it catches, because that's where you want to obviously you know start shifting gears and getting from slow speed stuff so once again you want to plan your ride so position yourself for safety locate any hazards oh i'm in neutral there you go i forgot i shifted so sport mode seems a little crazy <laughs> so once again i'm getting used to everything okay now i wonder if i can switch it now you don't want to do this maybe we'll do it a light yeah I'll, I'll, I'll save it i was gonna see if i could switch it to standard mode and see how that feels I'm so used to riding with my Indian FTR 1200S and putting it in sport mode, so that's why I was like, I'll just do that here. Well, we'll see how I, I truly do like it. So right now I'm keeping a good space cushion. Let's go ahead and get myself a good line of sight too, by the way. Not too concerned about the cars on the left side. There's no reason to turn in front of me, so I'm pretty good when it comes to that space cushion. But anyways, uh, I just want to focus mainly. Let's go ahead and turn that screen off so you guys don't have to see my home screen. I just want to see how this thing feels. So let's say I'm doing a demo event at Indian Motorcycle Tucson or, or wherever, because that's where I'm at in Tucson. 
and you know we're in a group ride we got uh, some MSF instructors in the front and back you know uh, captain and tail gunner or whatever you want to call it and we're doing a predetermined ride and that's pretty much it you know you can't do too much you can't take it you know long distance you can't have it for a couple days and what I want to do with this one is really put it through the paces and see you know is it good for touring is it good for you know up on the mountain you can kind of see it pretty far away that's Mount Lemon by the way great ride uh, great views and then is it good for uh, in town stuff kind of like what we're doing here now this is not technically in town this is more like on the outskirts so we got some good good everything so let's see we get a 45 Ooh, baby it's got some power I'm gonna tell you that right now it's a big baby big boy whatever you want to call it I'm not gonna talk too much about specs because here's the thing I don't care too much about specs I want to know how it feels now I'm gonna have some specs rolling up on the screen right now but if you really want to check out the link in the description you're gonna get to the Indian Chief page and you're gonna get the specs there okay so I mean if that's something you want to know then there you go on a demo ride you're not too concerned about that you're just concerned about you know what it is that you want to do okay so we got nobody behind us let's go ahead and adjust the mirrors just a little bit I should have done that earlier all right, let's go ahead and get up here. Friction zone. Okay, so I gave it a little bit too much throttle before getting to the friction zone. I'm still learning it. And that's one of those scary things when you're out at a demo event. You don't know it too well. That's why I want you to practice it in the little parking lot right before the, the demo gets going, okay? So the speed limit's 45 here. Let's go ahead and do a little 50s. All right, so on the right hand, see, this is... I am so used to having on the left hand, so let's go ahead and do that. And then set. Is it set? All right, so you have to push it in to start it. So what I would do is I would push it in at the beginning of the ride. That way the, the setting is on and then you, you swipe it to the, to the left. For me, that's a pretty big jump. I would rather do this. You see how I can take my hand off a little bit? So Indian, you know, I like what you did with the FTR. So maybe, maybe swap, maybe do a little switcheroos switch over here. I don't know, that's just me. I don't have big thumbs. So <laughs> that's just me. Anyways, like I said, this is just gonna be a very first impression. I'm gonna spend quite a bit of time on this bad boy, uh, going up Mount Lemon, uh, possibly going to Tombstone. I really wanna go to Tombstone, it's a beautiful ride. Uh, I'm gonna go in town into Tucson, way over there. Right now I'm just on Houghton, enjoying the uh, straight line to where I'm meeting up. And then I'm also uh, gonna just have some fun in a parking lot, seeing how this thing handles and slow speed stuff because that's a huge thing when it comes to riding in town. You wanna to be able to know, you know, if you could do good U-turns, if you could do uh, getting in and out of a parking space and if everything's good. So oh, I need to get my indicator, I'm gonna do my head checks. So same thing, indicator, you push, push in. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, push left or right to go indicate left or right, then push in to cancel. You got the horn, high beams, like I said, all those things. I'm not gonna mess around too much with the settings on here, I like using my Cardo for any music or any GPS, but that's just me. I'm gonna go ahead and play around with this later, uh, maybe in its own separate video. But guys, I just I just wanted to introduce the, the bad boy bike, uh, the Indian Chief, the 2022. Uh, it's, it's brand new. It's something that's really interesting. I was really looking forward to riding something that was a little bit bigger than the Scout, a little bit bigger than what I'm used to on a Sportster. And right now it's not disappointing. You know, it's either this or like the Springfield, and then maybe even going up higher into the Chieftain. So this is a good, good, good uh, rung in the ladder of, of what's going on. Okay, so we got the, the brake reservoir right next to my foot. I keep tapping it, so that, eh, maybe that's something I don't know. I don't know. Whoa, I let it out a little bit, let out the clutch. So it, the clutch is a little, little, little smooth. It's like towards the end. You know, it's like right at the, the full end. All right, so what I'm doing is I'm gonna meet some uh, some crew members right over here. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I'll see you guys later.